guys, today we're doing a plugin tutorial on the plugin leader heads with Ginger Games. Today we're gonna figure out how it works, what plugins we can work it with, and a lot more. So let's get right into it. So first off, you have to download the plugin, put it in your plugins folder, and start your server up. Once you've that, got that up and all, we can get into it. So now, the very first thing we're gonna do is the help page if you slash leader heads help it will come up with all the commands and it tells you what hooked and such so if you you can create a holographic this plugin so if you have holographic displays it will say if you have it or if you have a stats folder which is where it keeps all the stats will say true and players and database which means how many players have been on the server and put into the plugin itself into the leaderboard which my server has 58 now there's also citizens with is which is the players actual players which I don't have so it just says false but those are all the commands and we will be using some of them today now what we're gonna create first is a um, a wall sign so first off you have to get a sign place it on the wall have where you go to where you're gonna put it the first line will be the bracket, leader, heads, and then another bracket. The second line will be the stat. So um, if you go to the leader heads uh, spigot page, there is a button that shows all the variables. So once you find the variable that you're going to use, you're going to put it in plug for me. What I'm going to use is uh, my, um, what am I, what plug I'm going to use? I'm going to use my, he I have a spleef plugin that I use. It's called heavy spleef. So for one of the variables, it's wins for how many wins you get. So it's hs dot or dash wins. That's the stat. The third line and the last line is the place. So first place, second place, first place. For this one, I'm doing first place. And then we click done, and boom, it will show the player and how many wins. It actually right click on the sign. It will show you why with all the way up to nine players. And I'm second place. Who with 28 wins? Now, if you want to, you can always put a head up top. And if you do slash leader, heads, reload. Or whenever you reload your server, or if it the, when it updates, you'll actually put the first player head on top. But right now, it's being a little bit glitchy. And there is just more than just that. You can do armor stands. So we're going to place the same exact sign over here. Once again, the first line is leader heads. Second line is a stat, which minus is hs dot wins, and then the player, which is one, which is that player again, and then when you um look at the sign, do slash leader heads armor stand, and then um small or big. There's a mini armor stand and a big small stand. I don't know if what you probably some people probably understand that I understand that but if you don't understand I'm about to show you so right now we're gonna do small and look at the little armor stand small tiny and cute and it will load the head in a little bit I think and then you can also put armor on it just not the head see look it updated it it has the little guy it's, it's cute isn't it yes and now we're gonna do uh, another one the same exact sign leader heads first line second line of step and then the third line is the place, which is number one. And then if we look at the sign again and do do the same command, but if we do big, it shows a big person. And once again, you put armor on that, and it should load in a little bit the head, maybe I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't look so much I don't like it. I don't like it being that. But that is the big one, and then the small one. Now you can create holograms with this plugin but you need holographic displays I will make a separate video with holographic displays in the future if this video exceeds 10 likes and that is pretty much it for the leader heads plugin if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next plugin tutorial bye bye